Hi, my name is Ben Caprin. I want to take you through brain technology, what it is, how it works, and how it helps you out on the trail. We call it brain technology because it knows. It knows the difference between a pedaling force and a bump force, keeping you firm on smooth terrain for maximum efficiency and going fully active anytime there's bumps, maximizing your comfort and your control. Let me do a little simulation on the floor here to show you the way that works. A rider force, like a pedaling force, doesn't cause, doesn't allow the suspension to compress, keeping you efficient. But as you simulate, simulate a bump force, you can see you go fully active, letting that bump force get absorbed by the bike. Again, rider forces totally firm, keeping you very efficient. Bump forces allowed to be absorbed by that bike. Brain technology, it knows. So we covered the basics of what brain technology is and what it does for you. Now I'd like to cover some of the finer points. For all these demonstrations, we've significantly lowered the shock pressure to emphasize the way that the brain technology on its own works. Here at Specialized, we make different bikes for different riding experiences. Our Epic is the bike that we make for competitive XC riding, an experience that really puts a premium on efficiency. And then we have our Stump Jumpers, which are our cross-country trail bikes. Both feature brain technology, but they're tuned differently. In the Epic, competitive XC bikes have what we call a race tune setting, where it's very firm in the most firm setting, giving you the optimum efficiency possible. On the stump jumper bikes, we have what we call the trail tune setting. Now on a cross country trail bike, you wanna have a little bit of sag. You wanna be able to preload your suspension. So as you can see here, it's resisting that rider oscillation, so you have more efficiency, but it never goes fully firm. That's intentional to have your bike perform the way it should for the experience it's intended to give you. Another fine point about brain technology that's really important to understand is what we call brain fade technology. All brain technology has it and it allows you to tune how firm the bike is on smooth terrain. So right here I have the Epic set at fully firm setting. And as you can see, it's really resisting those rider oscillations. But right here, this little blue dial enables me to tune that setting so that now I'm fully active, even on smooth terrain. In between that fully firm and fully open position, there's a whole range. So you can tune to your own personal preference and riding conditions for that day. So we've talked about what brain technology is and we've talked about what it does for you. Let's spend a little time now explaining how it works. The brain lives in this reservoir, which is at the rear end of the bike. Inside this reservoir is really the nerve center of the brain. And the way it works is when a bump hits the rear end of the bike, the shock moves up, but the brass remains in place, exposing these little holes, which are known as flow ports. When those holes are exposed, oil can flow, the shock can compress, and your bike is active. When you are on smooth terrain, that bias spring covers those flow ports, the shock can't compress, therefore it's firm, giving you that efficient ride. Now that you understand the basics of the way brain technology works, I'd like to tell you a little bit about the difference between the first generation brain technology and second generation, what we call flow control brain technology. But first, let's look at the first generation. First generation brain technology worked on what's called a hydraulic timer. So you'd hit a bump, the brass mass would move down, and it would stay open for a preset amount of time. Hit a bump, it goes active and remains active for a few seconds until it closes up and goes firm. But what we really wanted to do was make that reaction time instantaneous. So what we came up with was second generation or flow control brain technology. Flow control doesn't work on a hydraulic timer. Rather, when you hit a bump, it's the flowing oil in the compression circuit that keeps that valve open. And actually, in a compression, a slow compression, you can feel the signature flutter of the flow control brain working because that oil is pushing your brass mass open and you get a little flutter, working exactly as it should. So now you know all about brain technology, what it is, how it works, and on epics and stump jumpers, how it gives you a benefit of increased efficiency and increased control. Be sure to check out other parts of the site where you can learn all about setup and other suspension technology.